Hi. Hello. <laughs> Welcome. We're going to have a fun throwback Thursday day. Tim and Karen from Stampin' <laughs> on the Back Porch. <laughs> oh, wait, she just wants to move into the... Well, I, I, I just have to say, it, it's been really fun. I was just sitting here reading the comments of those of you that are waiting. I think that's just on youtube right where there's a weight room i have no idea but it's so funny i had to i had to read a couple stephanie says rule of house when i don't work from home office i eat at the canteen i'm not responsible for dinner effect of that i'm free to watch you <laughs> <They're> just, <laughs> betty should be in her craft room she's got eight cards ready to put out put together but they can wait oh this is so hilarious um <laughs> And uh, Stephanie else said this. Someone said this sounds like a fun one today. Lori said that. That's fun. This is going to be fun. We have a few drawings. This is going to be kind of a little party day too. Uh, so uh, we're going to get to that. So hang tight. We're gonna we're gonna get to all the fun things of explaining. But first, you know, I better quickly. I thought I better do this at the beginning. The winner of last week's. Every week we draw for something. And generally, it's a retired stamp set. That's what I do with my retired stamps. This is a really fun in every season and it goes to Kathy Barbara. You just need to, or Barbara, whatever, you just need to message me your address and I will put it in the mail to you. And do you know, again this week, we got a really awesome gift from Loretta Shep. You know, who on here, because this is True Confessions, how many of you have actually ordered two of something by mistake? <laughs> Jesus, party, party. <laughs> so that's great. She ordered two of these and she liked the idea that we'd given something away. She sent it to us to give away. And what's really cool, so this is, this is a current thing. You know, they're never current unless it's a gift I'm passing on. So, um, so this is special, but I also want to say we are using, one of the cards we're using today uses this. So this is the Tasteful Textile Embossing Folder. Loretta, thank so you. So I'm going to put that aside. And before we get to the party, we have got mail. We've got mail. <laughs> So, and you guys are going to think this is pretty funny, but we're going to actually do drawings for three stamp sets today. And I will tell you why in a, in a bit. Okay. From Gail Peterson in Wisconsin. Oh, that's pretty. Look how lovely this card is. She just has her scene there that's colored in and the words down there. Isn't that pretty? It is. And the blues. Are yeah. Yeah. I love that. Very simple, elegant, great way to do a card. That is awesome. Wausau with the USA right in the middle. Jane Ficken from Nebraska. And oh, she's thanking me for her birthday card. Is that ever fun? Look at this is a strip card. This is a strip card at its simplest at its strip best. definition at its best. Okay. Look at how cool this is. Just all your leftover strips. And this is so fun. It's on the smaller note cards that we sell. The, note cards and envelopes and you see that they are mailable it's the smallest size that you can put in the mail and what a cute card that is just putting your strips on the front and your words right there that is fabulous oh you guys that are sharing a whole bunch of you are sharing that is so fun thank you you guys love strip cards victoria Sensum from tennessee oh and this is the another thank you for the birthday card oh my goodness i've never gotten so many thank yous in my life i wish i were better about sending them I, i'm not i'm trying to put tim tim in charge of that he's he's much yeah, right. he's much better <laughs> but this is the double time stamping you see how it's stamped and it goes right over there and then she's lifted it up put another contrasting color under it and it all just flows beautiful card and that was a technique we did, I don't know, a few weeks ago. That's just been wonderful. Rebecca Sadowski. Oh, for my mom. Oh, that's wonderful. She's going to love this. Why I've just put this in a different pile. How cute is that? Oh, that is so fun. I love it. I love the scattered flowers and the little bit of bling. She will totally love that. Thank you. Thank you. Becky Lynn. Kathy Zucker from Cincinnati, from Ohio. Oh, gorgeous. Oh, another one. Oh, oh, <laughs> it's gonna be my mom's lucky day. It is gonna be, it's so fun to go out and, oh, Tim, a whole bunch of these are for her. Oh, how fun oh is my that? Goodness. And look how simple and gorgeous this is with just the paper. You know, the last, last year when she got tons of cards, I didn't show them first. And I thought this, this time we will, cause I have to open them for her anyway. So it's just kind of a fun, and then we can all share it first and then we'll get to share it with her afterwards. But look at the elegant simplicity where the paper does the work. Is that just beautiful? And then the words popped up in this. So, Tim, I'm going to have you keep these separate and put them back in their envelopes. I don't okay. want to do another one. 
And one more for Marlene Butler in Missouri. Happy 97th birthday. Oh, look at all the work she went into that. That is awesome, artist. She will love that. Oh, that's really very cool. Put the 97 on there and celebrate. That's great. <laughs> Your and fairy that card mother. Oh, I love that. <laughs> You know what? That's a perfect thing to put on a sure. card when you're sending cards and you don't know the person, but you know they're on a list or something. I love that. Your fairy card mother. We could all use a few of those in our life. And I think a bunch of us are that to others. So I said, <laughs> Kathy is saying, have I ever purchased two of the same item? Last week I sent one of my oopses <laughs> to a friend in Wisconsin, another to my sister in Missouri. <laughs> Part of her problem is she puts things on her desk and covers it up with copies of screenshots. Does that mean that she ordered two extras? <laughs> no, but a couple of extras. And then you just decide who would like them. Then you become known as the gift giver, <laughs> which is pretty cool. Margaret Springer from Michigan. Oh, is this cute? Oh, these are the fun little origami cards that we made a couple of weeks ago. That was so fun, you guys. Oh, my goodness. The cards that have been posted have been just gorgeous. That is cute. Oh, I love it. And look at how colorful it is. And that just bright. Fun. And I love how the candles pop up off the top yep. here. Oh, that is a really, really fun card. And it's got glitter. What, what is it? Uh, yeah, it's, it's glitter. Yeah, uh, that is that is a great card. Noelle Pemberton, uh, she gets an award for sending us so many cards from Washington. Noelle, you're so good to us. You're always sending a bunch of cards. Oh, this is gorgeous. Oh, and oh. You know, it is just so fun to actually see. You know, I love seeing things in person. I, I know you guys do. Isn't that fun? It's so fun when you get cards. But this is the gift card holder that we did a little bit back. And I love what she put inside instead of a gift card. Look at her little tag. So thankful for you. That is sweet as can be. And on that note, let me just say. That's a friendship card. Yes. Oh, I love it. You could put this. This would be a cute refrigerator magnet, too. Mm -hmm. This card will be so it's kind of a bonus is one of the ones we're doing in our gift card holder class which is this weekend it's tonight and tomorrow right after this i'm going to go put up all the supply lists but we meet friday night twice on saturday and we do a whole bunch of styles even though we did this on a thursday the pdfs and all of that will be in there so it'll just be helpful to go back it's nice to have them all together to reference that is stunning and i absolutely love the colors of the blue pulled in yeah. with the autumn colors how cool is that? Lori Sankville from Missouri. Oh, and I love this too. Oh, she she earned a stamp set in my she's in my downline. And we we do things there too, and we give out <laughs> we give out a bunch of study. I love what she did. Look at how cool this is. This is the birds from Free as a Bird. And to see how those are just yep. blobs of stamps behind it in color. That is an awesome Very way nice. to color a stamp. That would be a a fun type of thing to have you do again. So that's pretty fun. I think I could do that. Love that. That's great. So we have to, uh, you know, I set some things aside as like techniques for Tim to do, but but we've been on these themes and it just hasn't fit. Noelle uh, has another one here. Oh my goodness, how gorgeous is this? And she's taken that, this gorgeous paper that totally stands alone. It is, oh, I'm trying to, you guys will have to help me with the name because, you know, you have time to write it down, of course, because I don't look at these first. And it has this white streak across the middle of the paper. And look how she's used that to stamp right on there, mm. the flowers, and use that as the accent piece. That's beautiful. Isn't that awesome? That is. That is an awesome idea. Uh, Stephanie said she just watched the Christmas series, or the series that I did that we're talking about today. And she was reminded how easy and relaxing watercolor is. We need to do more watercolor again lately. I said, I just, there's so many ideas and so little time, but aren't we lucky that that's our reality? Terry Fingerholz. Oh, oh, how nice. Oh, I love this. And this is just done oh. with chalks. What is that a piece of paper? No, is that a stamp? This is stamped it? in Versamark. Huh. So this is the chalk uh, poppin' pastels. Is that just pretty? It's very nice. And then you just take a sponge dauber or cotton ball or anything over it and look how the color just pops. Yep. But it's very, very soft looking. I would love to see a pumpkin like that. That's, that's that beautiful. is beautiful, isn't it? It is. Gorgeous. Well, if anyone does a pumpkin like that in real life, take a picture. Take a picture because we're not going to do it. But that is just, I mean, how fun. Those are just beautiful pumpkins. Terry, that is lovely. Thank you. And Barbara Miros. From Missouri. Oh, we have a bunch of Missourians today. Oh, how cool is this? And a nice letter. Can I just say, 
I need to, I do read all these letters and I don't usually have emails for people to even respond back. So I just have to let you know that, but just know that I love reading your letters and the thought you put into it. And I um, just, I really appreciate your stories. And, you know, so anyway, just know. And if you want a response back from, from me, email me because I just don't have your emails, but I just am so touched by so many of the great messages. But okay, here's another strip card. This is another gorgeous card. And do you see how this is a half circle? And look at that's all made up of strips. Hmm. So you'd put the strips on your paper first and then cut out the circle. Yep. Isn't that cool? And then cut it in half. Yeah. And then you get two cards. So do the whole circle. Or something from how, the inside. How cool is that? Just very dramatic. I would take the other half and put it on the inside so I don't have to write so much. Okay. And Beverly Driver from Minnesota. And a couple of cards from her, which is always fun. Okay. Oh, so, okay. So, and a letter. How cool is this? And I will read the letter later. Uh, take your inspiration from anywhere. You know, this looks like uh, a magazine, um, or is it a photo? Tim, can you tell me? Look, if, oh, it's a photo. If your skill is photography, you know, we have a dear friend who's always made uh, photograph cards. But if, you're, if you love doing photographs, how cool is it? And I think this, look at, those are just two pictures like that. That is really cool. What a fun mm -hmm. way of using a photograph. And then she just added some words stamped. That is an awesome card. That is awesome. And then she has another one. And I love this. We've got the little leaves from here and the die cut thing here. This is really interesting paper because it goes, oh, the inside. Do you see how this has popped out? And then turned a little cattywampus, my favorite word. So this part goes straight up and down, and that goes angled. Hmm. How cool is that? Oh, great card. Very fun. Thank you, Beverly. And I have this one is from Janine Peabody from Ohio. Right after this, I sit down and read all the comments. Here's another great idea. This is monochromatic. And you see how this is just stamps? You can see the, the words and the stamp is all done like tone on tone. So it's just a little darker than the paper, but they're all shades of the same color. So what a fun layout is that? And just easy to do with three things. So very fun. Is that it, Tim? No, no. We have oh. a gift. Okay, we have a gift. And this is from Adele Sawe, who is actually one of my new downline too. But I thought these, Tim did bring this in to show me because I thought this was really cool. She said this, what she sent me, and Tim, you can you can open it here. She said, these are gift bags she makes to welcome guests that come to their church. Just a way to say, glad you came. Okay, this is really an over the hat, but I thought what a sweet idea. So this is something she takes on to welcome visitors at their church. And I thought, how cool is that? So let's just see. So these are all kinds of gift ideas for us, you know. Because, okay. Let's look at this a little warm hello. That's so cool. Hand sanitizer, Kleenex. Oh, how how cool is this? All uh, handmade with love. She's got her thing. Oh, look, this is one of those plastic, uh, you know, those plastic things that sit up like this. And look how she's put a box on the front so it holds uh, post-it notes. And then she's got a calendar. She's got little pens. She's got this cute little butterfly. Oh my goodness. Um, <laughs> if you want to advertise where your church is probably, by <laughs> you might suddenly find yourself with a lot of guests. You know what I thought? But what an amazing thing to do. Oh, and then, okay, Tim, this is for you. You can take notes on the sermon. No, <laughs> that is so cool. What a cool idea. That is very cool. You could have something I'm always, I, I'm old school. I'm always still writing notes. Is this is really terrible, but I haven't learned how to do them on my phone. I'm working on it. But you can have something like this in your bag. So anytime you need or or shopping, you know, yes. different lists. <laughs> uh, books that, you know, for me, it'd be books that I'm kind of keeping an eye out, yep. out for. That'd be you too. And for jobs that I'm supposed to do for Karen. <laughs> um, before we open this up, I never, you know, sometimes I open things up, but this I left alone because I didn't want to mess with it. But it has got so much more in it than I thought. Oh, yeah. So 
And each one of these, so this is an idea for those of you who like to do Christmas gifts. Here are some great gift ideas right here that she's given us. So how fun is that? And wouldn't this be a great little get well, you know, just thinking about somebody, um, uh, you know, so here's some great gift ideas. So how fun is that? Okay, that is wonderful. Thank you, Adele. Okay, I'm gonna have you set that aside. And I'm going to explain, we're going to look at this, more I'm going to put it back on us. So I'm going to tell you what happened last week. <laughs> I, in the back porch stampers, so if you're not over there, you might want to come join us. We really have fun. So every week there's a challenge. So the challenge this week will be to use any of the techniques we share today, I'm making three different cards. Um, we're doing a bunch of techniques. Uh, share anything that you learned from Thursday and then we could, because it takes our learning a lot further when we all share with each other our own adaptations of that. But someone had put up a card that they had done was Untangle and said they were having fun. So then I posted a video that I did back in 2013. Back in 2013, I did a whole bunch of videos and then I quit for a few years. I don't know why. And then I got back into it. So I put that on and then somebody else said, well, this was Z from A to Z. Can we see all of them? So then I came up with this fun idea. I went back and looked. These are all videos that are like two minutes to four minutes. They're all short, stamping through the alphabet. <laughs> and I went through and found one that has the same technique that I was going to share today anyway. I was going to share lots of ways to color cards. Well, I've kind of revamped it all. Uh, I'll continue on with that probably next week. Um, but I decided this would be really fun to do that. So then I decided... I put up a thing said, guess which of these videos I'm going to use today for today's technique. And so people started putting in their things and I went back and looked and there were two more videos that totally fit what we're doing today. <laughs> so I changed it. <laughs> we're doing, we're doing, we're recreating three old videos, which means I must give away three stamp sets. And we're going to do three drawings. <laughs> so we're going to do three drawings instead of one because there's three videos. So look at this. I took all the names of everyone that guessed any of those three videos correctly. And then, of course, we're going to give older stamp sets away. <laughs> so I thought this would just be, be a, a fun thing to do. So I am going to, what we need to do, Tim, is you know what we need. Drum roll? No. Uh, well, we're going to have to just put labels on these. Oh, here's my, I forgot post-it notes. So here we go, Tim. <laughs> You're right, Tim Nuts, because I'm master of, eh. Sorry. Oh, and Tim, look what I found. I don't have to use those. Okay. <laughs> we, so we're going to do that first, and then I'm we're going to go in. <laughs> I'm going to scotch tape these back to the way they were, so I could use that piece of paper. You know, and you guys are going to love these ideas, I think. And I think it's just so fun because all old ideas are new again when we use new stamp sets. Okay, so we're going to okay. do this first one. Sunny days, because it is the end of summer. I just love this. We've got a little lemonade stand. Wishing you sunny days ahead. Wishing you success and only the best. Make your dreams happen. You can do hard things. This is going to, I'm going to hold it up, and Tim is going to draw. <laughs> Sunny days goes to <laughs> Karen Hetling. Okay, Karen so, Hetling. and you know what's even better, Tim? I could just do this. Good night. <laughs> but I got, now you guys know that we don't rehearse. I can't, I got, but I got a K written down. <laughs> Next one. Two seconds. <laughs> he's, he's still going to write it down. <laughs> Next one's going to be, P.S. You're the best. This was a... Uh, I don't even know what years these are from, so it's just kind of fun. But I love the old typewriter. And you're the best. Miss you. You're just my type. Karen, I love you. So I'm, I, I Okay, so you finished, finished note yes. to me. Okay, okay. Okay, now. Okay. Uh, this is the I'm next sorry. one. I was distracted. Okay, you're going to draw name number two. Well, <laughs> oh, and one flew out. Oh, nope. he wasn't nope. going to pick We're that one. Do that. He's, okay. Okay. <laughs> Britta. Slow Pranka or Slow Pianka. I can't read my own writing, so it has yeah. nothing to do with your name, but it has Neither. to do with it Nobody has to can. do with my um <laughs> my inability. But it is um Britta for sure. Slow Pianka, I think. All right. <laughs> okay, and I do come back and read all the comments. So um Kidok. And one more, the last one is en route. 
Uh, you're going places. It might, you know, my most favorite, you know what my most favorite thing is here? Do something awesome every single day because those are words to live by. But I also just love the little plane, the card, the bicycle, the boat. You know, you're pretty great. Adventure awaits. You never cease to amaze me. I just love this stamp set. So this is the last throw it. And Tim, who's this going to go to? Well, let's find out. <laughs> This is an old Pyrex bore. I have a set of four. Yes, I do. That's what it is. We use them all the time. We just love them. Mary, Marge Swanson. Marge Swanson is the third winner. So all of you, you know the drill. Just message me your address. And, and yes, this and is one of our set of four. That so we remember who. I would say that I use these all the time, but I don't. Tim no. uses these all the time. I do. <laughs> I, I just love the old bowls. The question now is, does this need to be washed, or can I just put it back in the cabinet? <laughs> Please wash. <laughs> all right. So there are three. Now we're going to get into some fun, too, on this. All of this is fun. We are. I'm using the gorgeous leaves. So we'll put this down now. So if you have any stamp kind of like this, you can work along with us or you can watch and then create, create your own afterwards. This comes as a bundle. So I'm using this stamp. And the first card we're going to make, those of you who looked at the videos and you didn't even need to watch them all, you could just um, go there and vote because you could see the pictures of them. But you'll recognize this was for the Magnif M for Magnificent Maple. And it had to do with each one of these could be their own um, <laughs> Thursday event, but this is about making your own designer series paper. So that's what we're going to do. But I thought, is that cool? So this is our first set of things. And so how many of you have done this? You know, we used to do this all the time, but I think back when I started, we did not have the varieties of papers that we do now by any means. So are you showing the original card? No, I don't have the original card, but I think I tried to make it as close yeah. as I could to the original card so they'd know which one it means. And so this is talking about creating your own one sheet wonder and then also doing multiple cards. Now, of course, you could sit and just do one of these. And um, the sizes will all be on my video tomorrow. But this is really what it's about. Is this cool? Look mm -hmm. at this, Tim. Let's do this one together. So I started on my page here. And then what I do, whenever I'm going to do and a she's full done thing it, like this. And she's done it for the last 18 years. <laughs> yes. And you're going to just start putting in as you want. I turn this around. I start with my biggest stamp first. So this is kind of the big one that I'm putting in. Could I get a Kleenex, please? Did you already make a smudge? I did. Oh, okay. So I'm gonna do that. Now you're going to fill it in with some green. And you can see they can overlap. It actually doesn't matter at all. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put in one more there. Ooh, is that all right? Yeah, you can go. Yeah, just you keep filling in. You're looking primarily for the empty, empty spaces, because then I'm gonna come through and fill in the rest with this. But it doesn't matter if they overlap. Everything can overlap. I said that's just the beauty of this. And then this is like making your own designer series paper. Okay, so Susan just said she made her own with the pretty perennial stamp set. Okay, Peggy loves doing this. Okay. It looks vintage. Yes, it is. It looks very vintage. I think I'm done. <laughs> okay. And then I'm just going to fill in with the crushed curry. And you see, I'm just, because I'm just trying to fill in a little extra paper, I'm just going to keep stamping here. And I can go different ways. But how cool. Isn't that fun? I don't know. Does that fill in? Okay. I think that's I think that's good. And you know what else we need is a wet yes, cloth we do. To, yes, we do. to clean these. We'll let Tim do that. Because now what I'm going to do, this is going to be like a one sheet wonder. And I'm going to make all the cards the same. So I'm going to take my paper right here. And I just have to make sure. I think I measure this right, that these are going to be three and a half. I think that's right. Okay, so if I'm going to go, and it doesn't matter which way, okay, I'm gonna go three and a half right here. It's really, I'm gonna go three and a half by, okay. Okay, oh, I'm gonna do this. Okay, I'm gonna do three and a half. And then I'll do three and a half. 
I didn't figure this out which one if it mattered if they went one way if one way would save paper better or not I usually kind of figure that ahead and any little strips left over are perfect to put on the inside so save those for your card and then on these I must have gone I did these the other day okay we're gonna yeah we'll do these we're just gonna do these in half then so there's gonna be a little waste but there won't because I put them on the inside so there really won't be waste Let's figure that out, okay? So my sheet is going to make eight cards. And someone on here just said she had eight cards ready to make before we started. And I thought, okay, so here will be another eight. Okay. So then for my base cards, now this is designer series paper. It's from the Regals pack. And I didn't have eight of those. I think I had four. So this is a great, well, actually five because I have a couple of packs. So I had some of those and then I took some of the Cajun craze. And so that just means I will have different colors of backgrounds. So I'm just going to show how these are put together because see now this, these will go with this. And the rest of the card will be the same. Yeah, we'll, we'll put two of these on just to kind of show that. But I thought it's just a way to multiply your things. I could also use the old olive green. So see, I could have pulled those out too. So often when you're using designer series paper, you might not have quite enough to do one of everything. You mix and match, they all go together. So they're just so fun. Uh, Kathy said she needs more practice random stamping. <laughs> I know adults have more problems with random stamping <laughs> with anything random. I think that's pretty fun. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you wouldn't want to have all your leaves lined up in color coordinated. Yeah, it rows. would just be a little different. Yeah. One other thing that helps in stamping random, we were doing this together, so I don't know if I showed it as much, but it's just moving the paper around or the stamp around and different images, so that helps. But now this is just so cool because then I have... A bunch of these and these you can see I'm going a quarter inch smaller here so this was half of a card sheet and then this piece was four inches by five and a quarter so this is five inches by three and a quarter and then the, this one can just be smaller like this because now this is what I'm going to do gonna tear it? we're gonna tear it which is right. and I'm gonna pick which side I want to tear I'm gonna do it this way okay this is another thing <laughs> that adults have trouble with. But I think how cool is this look? I just have to make sure that I cut these the right way. Yep, I, yep, I think I did, okay. So now I'm gonna attach this. It's hard to get that same effect with these scissors. If I uh, if I was one of those people that had everything totally written out, you know, yeah, but I'm, you, you guys know I'm kind of the casual stamper. And then do you see, I'm just gonna tear. This doesn't need to be exact, but isn't that cool? I like it, I like it. I think it's very, very fun. Okay, why don't you make one? So you're gonna tear one. Okay. I'll we'll just do two and see how these come out. So a big decision about which way and how. Yep. Just decide which part you can live without. And the other one, I think I went around twice. You could go around once, twice, three times. You could do a bow. You can do whatever you want because it's your card. So you put put this on before you. Yep. Do you want me to do that first? Yes. I will. I will do that part. I'll be your assistant. Thank you. Okay. And then, of course, you know, I would take my glue dots and put on this part because that's my favorite thing to use. I just, I am pretty. <laughs> I thought Karen had a skin tag. <laughs> she said, "Got into the skin." Tag. Yeah. And it was a glue dot stuck on my leg. <laughs> That's pretty bad, kind of wearing wearing what we have. Okay, so now I could add words or I could not, but I thought, but I wanted to finish this one just to show how the variety is just going to be really fun with this. And I think if we had some green cards on the back, that would be fun too. So just an easy card. You know, if you were doing these one at a time, you'd be stamping off a lot on the edges. And that's why this is just so nice. If you do a whole sheet, yes. I'll just do this, then it's all much easier. Well, you're not wasting that extra ink. But I think those are really fun it also seems easy. autumn cards. It's very easy. 
And now the part you tore off, what I was thinking would be Ooh. really cool on the inside. See, I didn't do insights. We should do a small insight yes. and put that on the bottom. Yeah. So we're not even yes. wasting that. So that's the suggestion to use up the rest of them. So you've got eight fun cards there. I will finish those later and I will be sending these out, which is always fun. Um, let's say, yeah, the second generation. Yes, is what some meant. If you keep on stamping, then it gets lighter and fills in. Okay, now this next one, I didn't complete this one. So we're going to do this from scratch. But the next one is the I. A bunch of you guessed that. The I for expressions in ink or something. It was doing something interesting with your ink. And it's got two techniques on it. So, and you know, you know, we're doing all autumn cards. So that's kind of our theme here, but these same ideas could work on other things. So now this time, this is a technique I've done many times. I absolutely love doing this. This is where my day started. I was just gonna show this and then four other techniques. So the others have been sidelined for another time. We're going to do the very technical stamping technique of thumping. Ooh. So I'm going to start with my light color. I'm going to do curry. That's my lightest color. And this is because it's going to give shape to any other part that doesn't get colored in. And then I'm going to take all these other colors. I'm going to take the, the big end. And this is thumping. I'm just going to thump up and down. And I'm going to, and see, instead of doing this and trying to go around, I'm going to just move my stamp around. And I'm going to go through and do four different colors. So this one's Cajun Craze. Is this cool? It is. So you could do it with one, two, three, or four. Yep. Yeah. We could do another fun technique to do with kids. If you're doing it with kids, you might want might, might not want to use your favorite markers. But you know, this isn't hurting the markers. And you know, if you're ever concerned that you're getting color on your mark. On your markers, this is what you do. You just wipe it off in any extra color. If you bring it down like that, it'll take off any extra color. So you don't need to worry about it at all. I have to make sure I'm getting some out to the edges. Karen said it doesn't hurt the marker. And I just I had this image that the marker was saying, ouch, ouch, ouch. <laughs> yeah, that's right. So this was back in 2013. So that goes quite a while. So we've been doing these techniques it's for been a, long thumping time. a long time. And I'm going to make the stem green. Actually, I would have made it Cajun. Oh, let's do it this way. I think if it's kind of a dried leaf, it's kind of be a little more Cajun. So watch this. I'm going to put the Cajun over it. And now watch if I clean it off. Do you see that little bit of green? Mm -hmm. So I'm doing that on purpose because now the green isn't on here anymore. So that's how we don't need to worry when we um, remove color. And I'm going to blow on this and stamp it. Whoa. And look at that. And we have this amazingly... That is beautiful. That's beautiful color. So, and then I'm going to put it through that folder. And I got the edge there, so I should have been more careful. But it won't matter because it's going to be cut out like this. Huh. But I, of course, already did the one. This is the die in the set. So this is, okay, Patricia says, the first time she's seen this. Now, I love to hear how many of you do this regularly. How many of you have done it, but it's been a few years? How many of you do? You know, it's just kind of fun because it's like, I, ideas just keep coming round, and I know I'm the same. I love to be reminded of old ideas, and I think I haven't done that in ages. Now, this next part, I really haven't done in ages. So I thought this is what we're going to put the card on. So those of you that know what video I'm talking about probably already know what I'm going to do. This is what I'm going to make. This is going to be my background. Tim, how Ooh, cool is this? That's very cool. Okay. So I'm going to take, I'm happy to use vanilla here. And I'm going to use my three colors. And I'm use use masking tape. So who's done this before? So this is just really a fun one. Okay, so. And this is just so fun to kind of plan and be reminded of this old stuff. Okay, I gotta oh put this over. I'm gonna put this right in here. Now, if I were really, really fussy, I could use something so my hands didn't get inky and I'd make sure I got to the ends. I wasn't expecting that. I'm into impressionism, so it really doesn't matter. And then I'm going to put that right, whoops, right in my card. I'm going to get all the inked part on there and press. Wow. That's cool. 
Okay, next I will do another color. Okay, and I'm going to hand them to you. Do you want to put that one on? Where? where, where? Oh, okay, I'll do this one, and then I'll have you do the next one. Doesn't really matter. I'm leaving a little bit. It, they yep. could be right next to each other, and we don't even need to worry about pressing it down because I'll put a paper over it afterwards because this is what happens when you do it, but that's okay. I'll show oh you what else goodness. to do. Do you see that? Because there's ink on there. <laughs> yeah, well, okay. I don't know why you'd start now let's, when we're on live. Let's, let's, edit, <laughs> let's edit that out and start over. And you know what's fun? That's the way you figure it out, oh, right? Now so I we know. all know that. So see, then next time you make a different mistake, not the same one, but it's all going to be just part of the look. So it's totally good. And then we're going to go back to one more of the crushed curry. And you can put that one on. I think this is so fun. So I'm expecting to see a lot of cards using this. <laughs> Diana said she'd done the masking day one, but it was a long time ago. Uh, and Diana, I used to do parties with you way back in the day. It was probably way back then that we did it. <laughs> okay, and then okay. I just put a piece of paper over it. Oh, nice. I didn't press it. So if you wanted to press it down. But even some of the edges, you know, it's kind of the look we're going for. Um, because all the tape probably wasn't very um, smoothly put on. So if we take this off, hmm. and just watch the unfolding. Is that cool or what? It is cool. Let's see if we can find my mistake. <gasps> no. Oh, we had, some, we had some things on that ink pad. So that's going to be kind of interesting. You do get a little of everything. And I kind of saw that when I was doing it. That's actually um, kind of cool. And you know what's interesting? It's a brand new stamp pad. And I, oh, and I should have just looked first because there's a couple little things on it. Oh, interesting. I like it. But it's okay. You know, it kind of looks like fall and the seeds and everything else. So it's totally good. And I have another one that's all dry. So we'll use the, but I will use this one with that. So I will still make it. And I'm just going to assemble this card. Here is the beautiful folder that we are giving away. Look how pretty that is. We're using it as this background for fall, but it's an awesome, just kind of a subtle look. I love those kind of folders. So I'm going to put this on because again, I'm doing it like the card in the original video I don't as think, much as possible. I don't think Stampin' Up! had those kinds of things 18 years ago. <laughs> it wasn't that long. Ago. Oh, it was. no, 2013. Um, oh, do we need a little math? Well, okay, 2023, Karen, is 20 years. <laughs> is, it no, no. is it 20? No. Okay, no. Tim, I think sometimes you should stop when you're ahead. <laughs> I just... Okay, but this is it. Now, how cool, and then we're going to pop this up on uh, dimensionals. But is that a cool fall card? <laughs> <laughs> Anyone mention how, how well I did nice? <laughs> yes. One of the... <laughs> Kids in the lower one quarter married the smartest kids in the world. But I think this is such a fun, and it looks to me very geometric. You know, I love yeah. the lines going there and then the rectangle, the line going there. Now, where's the original? The original one would be on the computer, Tim. Okay. So, so I, this, I, I didn't have one made. This is it. Okay. I just used oh. the dried parts, but I'll be making a second one like that. I love but it. But do you guys like this? So I think how... Fun. Maybe we should ask Kathy. If I'm, she gonna have to, it. I'm gonna have to go back to my old videos more often, but I thought this was so fun. And then they, there's one more that I totally did adapt. I decided to do the gift card holder just because this weekend's class is a gift card holder. I'm going to just quickly do this, uh, but I just wanted to say this is another one that is it's going to be a bonus on this weekend. So the PDFs, everything will be right there. Um. I thought this was a fun idea, and we just made it into a fall theme. But since it fit this, and I thought this wasn't one we were doing, but is I think it's really a fun look at that. Ooh, that's really nice. the gift card holder, and this is a five and a half by four and a quarter shape, so it's going to fit right into your the, your regular envelope, and it's just so easy. And I just think that's such a fun fall look. So for this, and the words I'm using here are from Lighthearted Lines. To a cool. person who still got it, but might not remember where they put it. That's most of us. <laughs> Happy birthday. So I'll quickly go through this. I think that's your husband. 
And then just know if you like things like that, if you join us for the class, you're going to see a bunch more ideas doing these, these folds, which is just so fun. But this is really, really easy. So you can follow along with this. This piece is four by 11. And I'm going to score it at three and a half and seven and a half. And you will see this makes the folder. So then I'm going to take this. I just itched my nose and I have visions that I have a ink all over it since we're doing this. No, I don't need to. <laughs> no, I have visions that I have ink all over it because we're playing with ink. I thought that'll be terrible if I put the camera back on. Okay, so this is my pocket. Okay, so there's the front. And then these are just done smaller. So these pieces are, this is three and a quarter by three, but it doesn't matter what size these are. And this time I thought, and you're just going to decorate it. I had some extra pieces of what I was working on. So I'm just going to decorate it like that. This is just to show how to put it together. This piece, you can see, is a whole base card front. This is four and a quarter um, by by five and a half, and I'm looking for my cutter. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna cut a little edge off. So I'm gonna go like three eighths of an inch is what I put on the thing. And of course, um, the directions are on, I will put a link to these three videos too that I did. So the directions are there too. These won't, these, okay. So then I wanna go down an inch and a half. So right here, I am going to cut that right up to there. I'm gonna flip it over and then I'll do three eighths of an inch again. From the other direction. From the other direction. Helps to get it on straight. And then from here, it will be, I'm going down an inch and a half. So that will be right here. Hmm. And then I'm going to just snip these off. And look how cool this is. This mm. is what fits inside and creates our, our template. And then after that, you just put it together. So I'd say we covered a bunch of techniques in these fun. So I'd like to know what's your favorite technique. And then especially, I'd like to see some masking tape things and some thumping. And if you want to do any one sheet, wonders, any of that over in the back porch stampers, you know, we draw. Someone gets a prize every week, and I, I I don't keep track to add the names here, but for just posting, because we just love uh, one of the ideas, an idea that goes with this, because I think we, I always say we're more creative together than we are separately. So question. Yeah. Did you decide that painter's tape, like the blue pit tape and stuff like that works or not? I think any kind of, any, I think painter's tape would work well too. Okay. So experiment with anything. This is masking tape. I had painter's tape, but it was much wider. But that would be a cool look too. So the whole point of what we do, you know, is to experiment and see what works. And then next week, I'm going to continue the idea of other ways to add colors to leaves. So we're going to continue this fall theme because that was my original plan. <laughs> but Throwback Thursday was really fun to do. Thanks, guys. So I will put a link um, to those videos. So tell, tell and me, thanks for watching. Tell me one more time. I can't wait. <laughs> yeah. How many years has it been? Eight or 18? Eight. Well, from 2013 to 2021. Somebody else okay. better answer that. Um, <laughs> somebody said, and the one sheet wonder too, the, and I don't even know where those cards went to, but I think they went off the table. But thanks, guys. And for those of you who are joining us this weekend, we'll see you tomorrow night. And for everyone else, we'll see you on Monday. Have a wonderful weekend. And thanks. Bye.